news now, a 40-year-old assault charge involving a candidate for governor and the House Speaker. Independent candidate for governor Joe Trillo now addressing an incident from 1975 where he says he accidentally hit a teenage boy. As it turns out, that teenager is House Speaker Nick's Nick Mattiello. Trillo was in his 30s at the time and lived next door to the Mattiello family. Now, the decades-old story now resurfacing just weeks before the election, and Trillo says it's all politics at play. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian has been working the story all day long. She joins us now live with the details. Kim? Well, Mike Trillo said he and the House Speaker never even really discussed this incident, despite their years working together up at the Rhode Island State House. Trillo claims this story was dredged up by his Republican opponent in the governor's race. That's Cranston Mayor Alan Fung. Today, Fung's campaign called Trillo, quote, unhinged. It's only in Rhode Island kind of stuff. A bizarre tale of the ocean state kind. Independent candidate for governor Joe Trillo now admits he once hit a teenage neighbor while living on Cranston's Surrey Drive in 1975. That neighbor grew up to be House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello. There was a young girl that lived next door. She was screaming. Uh, there were boys trying to push in the front door. I rushed over to the house and I got involved and I was just very vociferous with my arms and, and I might have banged uh, Nick Mattiello by accident. Mattiello's family pressed assault charges. Trillo initially said Wednesday he pleaded no contest, but court documents we found show he was found not guilty after a trial. But I don't remember all the details. I really don't. The charge was eventually expunged. In a statement, Mattiello says he vaguely remembers the incident saying, quote, I respect Joe Trillo, who is a friend and a good person, and I have a lot of affection for him. Nick and I became friends. I, I was honored to watch him grow up to be the, the gentleman that he turned out to be. Trillo says he believes he did the right thing, intervening to help the young girl. He insists he hit Mattiello by accident. I'm a fighter. That's what I am. I fought on the House floor for the taxpayers. I'm not a guy that sits back and just you can push around. You're not going to push me around. And the problem with everybody that's been elected so far is they're easily pushed around. And we did ask Cranston police today if they have that police report from this nearly 40 year old incident. So far, though, no luck finding it. Now, this is not the only altercation that Trillo revealed today. The other happened eight years ago at the Rhode Island State House. We'll tell you about that coming up new at six. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. First tonight, the latest developments involving a candidate for governor who's now admitting he got into two physical altercations years ago. On Eyewitness News at 5, we told you independent Joe Trillo is now offering his version of a story about a 1975 incident where he says he accidentally hit a teenage neighbor. That neighbor grew up to be House Speaker Nick Mattiello. And now Trillo also revealing details about another violent encounter, this one in 2010, inside the State House with another state rep. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us live now from the newsroom with the new details. Kim? Well, Shannon and Mike, when it comes to that 1975 incident, Trillo says it was an accident. He says he mistakenly hit Mattiello while trying to disband a group of young boys he says were frightening a young girl. Trillo was charged, but he was found not guilty, and that charge was eventually expunged from his record. But when it comes to this more recent incident at the Rhode Island State House, Trillo admits he was provoked and fought back. I'm a fighter. Independent candidate for governor Joe Trillo says an argument over a piece of legislation turned physical back in 2010. And Larry poked me in the eyes and when he did that, I, I slapped him a few times back. Trillo referring to former state representative Larry Earhart, a fellow Republican who was trying to overturn one of Trillo's bills dealing with the inspection of boat toilets. Reached by phone Wednesday, Earhart says the two lawmakers argued and went nose to nose. I just couldn't resist reaching out and uh, trying to tweak his nose uh, and uh, a gesture that apparently was not well received and he kind of went ballistic on me and started flailing in his arms. I don't know whether it was closed fists or hands. I was left with quite a few bruises on my upper arms. My nose is very tempting and I realize that. It's a beautiful nose. The incident was never reported to police and no charges were filed. We asked Trillo if there were any other skeletons in his closet. I went into my closet last night and I looked around and I didn't see any more. And Trillo's Republican opponent in the gubernatorial race, Cranston Mayor Alan Fung, took to Twitter today to address this situation, saying in part, Trillo, quote, cannot control himself and is unfit for office. Incumbent Governor Gina Raimondo 
declined comment. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.